guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy, if you don't already know me. And today, I'm going to show you my lip tint collection. So, as you can see, I have a lot of lip tints. I know that I have an addiction, but these things are like the only things that keep me going in life. I actually have more lip tints than what's shown here, but like I have a lip tint in every single pocket I have, so Honestly, I don't know where some of my lip tints are, but this is like what I found today. I hope you enjoy. <gasps> so we're gonna start off with Etude House lip stuff. I feel like Etude House is one of the cheapest and most popular Korean makeup brands. And I really love their like lip tints because they're so cheap and they're so cute. So I'm going to start off with these Play 101 pencils. Um, there was like a period of time where I was really obsessed with these. I wanted to get all the colors, but obviously I'm not rich enough. These are also from Etude House and these, these three are... And these three are like part of the same line, I guess. They all have the same packaging, but these two are from the Wedding Peach line. The packaging was so pretty and that's why I bought it. But this one, I just like the color. But then after I swatched them, I realized that these two are basically the same exact colors. <laughs> I feel those scams, but it's okay because I use this one very often and I'm almost running out of this. So I'll be using this one soon. So it's okay. And then these two, this one's a this one's a lipstick, but it's like a very sheer glossy kind of lipstick. And this one is just like a tint. But honestly, this one has like it's orange but it has no color like it's so sheer and like I guess this is like what you want when you want something natural but honestly it's not gonna show up like unless you have like this pinkest like the whitest lips it's not gonna show up so I don't know why I bought it I think it's I bought this because it was like on sale and it was like buy one get one free so I got the other colors I got the red one which I really liked but I just picked the orange one up and um, I don't know where my red one is. I think I lost it somewhere. But yeah. Next up we have ColourPop. And ColourPop is known for their really cheap makeup products. Like they're super affordable. And I think I got these one like, it was that Black Friday sale and they had like 20% off the entire website. So I kind of went a little bit crazy. And I, re I always wanted to try out like liquid lipsticks and like the matte stuff but like I they don't want to drop the money so I just like spent like five dollars on these and like just to test them out and there's some that I really like and some that I don't like that much but yeah and then next we have Glossier uh, I don't know if these count as like actual lip tints but um I like to use these before I put on lip tints this one has an actual like reddish tint This one has an actual red tint. Oh, this one is pink. This one is pink and doesn't have a tint, but um, it's like super, like it's pink, but um, it doesn't show up on your lips that much. It just kind of like a gloss. And then these two are from Apu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um. This one's like a half half stick. So like one one half is a color and the other half is a different color. And this is the Haru Tattoo lip tint. Like it's one of those tattoo ones where you put it on and you peel it off. And this is the only I think this is the only um tattoo one I own. And I really like it. And I like to use this one when I'm like going out to eat a lot of things, like say Korean barbecue. Then if I eat like for like five plates of Korean barbecue, this stays on the entire time since it's like tattooed into your lips. These two are from Nature Republic. I'm honestly not that into Nature Republic lip products, so I'm not I don't have much to say about these two. I just bought these because I saw the exosanies and they attracted me and I went into the store and bought these on impulse. So that that was However, the triple loose tint in Brick Red is a really pretty color, so I do like this one. Then let's move on to Tony Moly. So Tony Moly is another like really popular brand in Korea. 
Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like Tony Moly is like best known for their gel eyeliners and lip stuff. So these two are like little gloss bars. They're not really. I guess they're tints, but like they're more for like the glossy effect. And then the, these are like super old school lip tints. I have to throw these away, but like. They're super pigmented, but they're really drying, so I don't like them that much. And then these ones are from my favorite line, the Get It, the Lip Tone Get It line. But this one's in HD, this one's in Velvet, so they're also two different lines, but part of the same, you know, line. <laughs> um, but like these two are probably my like all-time favorite daily go-to lip tints. I love them so much, and I'm sure everyone knows Cotton Five is like probably my favorite shade. Next we'll move on to Mamunt. I think it's Mamunt. I, I really don't know how you pronounce these but um I mean it says Mamunt in, in Korean so these two are the Mamunt, Mamunt highlight tints. Um, This one's Red Intermission. This one's Midnight Singer. I got these when I got these at my local Aritam because they were buy one get one free, so I just got these two. Um, I think they're like a, they're like really nice colors to like layer on top of each other. I put this one on first and then put this one in the center. And then there's also this lipstick. It's so it's the Vivid Touch Moisture Lipstick, and um, I got it because it's orange. There was a period of time when I was really into orange. But I don't know if I still like it anymore. <laughs> and these ones are also from Aritam, but um, they're not part of the. They're not like under Mamunt. These are just Aritam brands, I think. This is the water sliding tint, and this is the honey melting tint, and then here we have the wannabe cushion tint. And I. These three are like my most well used Aritam lip tints. I like them a lot. They're really moisturizing. Well, these two are really moisturizing and this one smells really good. I just put this on to smell it because it smells so good. <laughs> it smells like fruit jellies. Like, it just smells so good. And then next we have two more lipsticks from Laneige. These are also like sold at the Aritam stores. Um, I got this one the past winter when I was in Korea because I wanted like a dark wine color for winter and this was it like i feel like i feel very grown up with this lip lipstick because i always use lip tint and i don't know something about like lipsticks just makes me feel more grown up this one's from laneige too you guys might recognize this one because this one's like the ones the female leads in korean dramas always use i got this because of uh weightlifting fairy but she got the, she had a different color, but I was in, <laughs> but I'm more into like orange and pink tones. So, hello, focus. Can you focus? Yeah, I know Parchina uses it from Doctors. Uh, Bokju from Weightlifting Fairy. I'm pretty sure there's a ton more, but I can't remember them right now. Next, we have Peri Para tints. My favorite Peri Para lines are probably the ping or pung um lines this one's the lumi pong and this one's the rouge pong and this one this one you can always tell <laughs> this is so gross but i use this one like a lot and it's a really nice coral orange like it looks super orange but once you put it on it's like a coral color and this one is basically the same so the thing is, because I used this one so much, I thought I was going to run out, so I went to buy another one. But I thought that this was this, but it was not this. But this is like the lipstick version, I guess. But it's okay. It's okay, you can never have too much of the same lip tint. <laughs> this is Peri Peros Cushion Lip. And it's like, you squeeze it out, it has like a little felt tip, which is really cute. I think it's, this is easy for blending. 
and then we also have Perry Paris Ink Velvet. This one like is super long lasting and it makes your lips so soft. I really like this one too. And then next we have Glow Color or Code. Next we have Code Glow Color. So honestly, I bought these for the packaging. You got, you guys don't know, but I love women so much. <gasps> all of these. All of these have movement on them and that's why I got them. Movement is like this little, I don't know what it is, a little hippo, but they're so cute. This one is your typical like tint, but then on the other side, it has a bunny, it has like a little sponge, but I never use it honestly, because my fingers are just so much more efficient. And then this one's a lipstick. It's like another orange color. I should really stop buying orange color lipsticks. And this one is like, it looks like a highlighter. Like, it's a felt tip tint. And I, I, I really like this because this one, it just doesn't transfer things right into your lips. Next, we have lipstick shadow, I be color. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I, I should have. I'm so sorry, I can't sing. This is iconic lip tint that was sold out after Lotto came out. Um, this one is super long lasting too. Like, it really stains your lips because it has actual wine in it. This past winter, I also got like kind of like a nude colored lipstick. I was really into this. I, I actually, I was really into the nude color during like winter. And then if you pull this part off, it has like a little bendy brush as well. Next we have Muji. Honestly, I thought Muji was just for stationery and like home goods. But then they came out with a makeup line and I'm so into it. Like it's so minimalistic and it's like so pretty. But um, I couldn't afford anything except these when I went. So I just got these two. <laughs> They're essentially, they're like basically the same color, but there's very slight differences. But I love both of them anyway. And these are like, rather than tint, I feel like this is like what you put as the last step. These are like very glossy and they make your lips kind of like sparkly, if you can tell. I just got these two because I was like, I'm gonna use these so much, I'm probably gonna run out really soon, so I just got two, just in case. They're different colors, just so you know. Okay, um, these are from the face shop. This one's a lip oil. I like to use this one when my lips are really dry because it like really hydrates your lips. And it has like a little, it does have a tint, but like it's not super visible once you put it on. And this one's the ink liquid. And I don't, I don't, there's not much I can say about this, but like, this one is like, kind of like just painting your lips with actual, with actual paint. Like, yeah, it, it's ink. And then this one is another one I bought for the packaging. You just look at this. You pull this out and there's no brush, right? But then you press this button and it comes out. <laughs> I just love this so much. And you put it back in and then you take it back out and it's not there and then you press it and it goes, oh. <laughs> I'm so easily entertained. Next we have the Sonapa lip stuff. In English it's Sonam Park. Son Sonam Park. Sonam Park. My friends got these for me for my birthday. I have a highlighter one and I have one more, but I don't know where it is. Uh, but these are like my two favorites. And these are so cool because you can stack them on top of each other like this. And like, you know, it kind of reminds me like in the chat when like when I was little, I would connect the markers and like attack people with it. But you can do that now, but with lip tints. Upgrade. Then these are like the Maybelline baby lips. I just use these like to moisturize my lips before I put on lip tints. They're not that special. And I have like these, these, these ones. 
but like these I don't I only own like one product from each brand so I just group these all together I think most of these I got them from like Olive Young and Watson's when I was in Taiwan and um, Korea this one's Wake Make and I got this one because like when I was in the sleep program we had this photographer Ani and she was so cute and like every day her lips were like on point and I loved her so much like she was the cutest little thing ever <laughs> she had her little beret and then her giant like DSLR camera she was like so I just loved her so much it's like a showing <laughs> but um one day she was wearing like um a super pretty lip tint I was like oh my god what the tint is that she was like oh it's from like wake make and you can get it at olive young you should go get it and I was like okay so I went and got it and this one smells so good as well can you get high from the tints I don't know if if you could get high off of lip tints I'd be high every single day uh don't do drugs kids um <laughs> This one is from Misha. It's the lasting painting tint. I got this one because I heard really good reviews about it on YouTube. So this is like a bright orange color. I don't know. It's been so long since I've like used these. And then this one is from The Sam. Um, I got this one for the packaging because it's like a candy, and this one's like really cute. This one stains your lips really well too. The thing is. This is really weird because it stains my bottom lip, but it doesn't stick to my upper lip. Like, is that just me? Like, I'm just so... Because a lot of lip tints, they will like stick to my bottom lip, but my upper lip just, it just wipes away. Like, I don't understand why. Like, they're both lips, but apparently they're different. This one I got from Taobao. But this one smells really good too. It kind of smells like... I don't know, but like... Cherry. It smells like cherry, I think. No, this is not how... I don't know what it smells like, but it smells good. But this is like one of the... This is like a nude color... Nude... <laughs> this is a nude color lipstick. And it was like $3, so I got it. And honestly, I don't regret because I'm really into this. And then the, these three are like ones that I, I just don't really understand why I bought it. Like, I don't know why I bought these, I guess. They looked really nice when I used them in stores. But once I got home, I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, I, I regret buying these. Um, This one is... I got these two when I was in Taiwan in the... It was not Watson's, but it was another like... Watson's Olive Young sort of thing. I forgot what the name was. Oh. But like it was like a cosmetic shop. And this one is Himi. And it's like I I I think I caught it because the packaging was pretty. There's a star in the middle and then like it's moisturizing lip gloss on the outside. So I don't know. I mean I I guess some people are, are into it. And then this is the the Zay, this the Zay. I don't know. I think it's a Japanese brand. It's, it's a matte lipstick, and um, I just don't like the formula. is really nice. I just don't think this color suits me, so that's why I'm not into this one that much. And then this one's from Sixteen Brand, and I had really high hopes for Sixteen Brand, and uh. The packaging is super cute and like there's like three layers of colors and I guess like when I got when I was like testing swatches in the store this one was really pretty but for some reason it's just not the same like I don't understand why I guess the lighting in the store just makes things different and better this is how it looks like that one right there it's, it's super glossy, so I'll give it that. If you want something moisturizing, this is your go-to. This one is probably one of my favorites. I carry this like to every party I go to because it's so small and has a little compact mirror. Hold on. And it has a mirror, which I think is really necessary when you're like in the middle of a party and you want to like touch up, but there's no bathroom, so you just go like, ah, uh -huh. yeah. 
and this one is a lot more pigmented than I expected which really impressed me so this is why I love and oh last but not least this is my only adult lip tint like <laughs> my friend was like joy all your kohongs are like xiao hai zi kohong I'm gonna get you a da ren kohong when it's your birthday so she got me this da ren adult lipstick from Giorgio Armani and as you can see she engraved OSH on it for a <laughs> for a and like this is just too high class for me I, I'm like really scared to use it shout out to Tiffany for getting this for me I love you Tiffany And this concludes my lip tint collection. Uh, I don't have all my lip tints here. There's more lip tints. You've seen like 64 of them, but I have close, probably close to 70. Honestly, my lifetime. Like there's there's a couple which I threw away, so I probably have like almost 80. And this is a problem. I should stop buying lip tints. Yeah. But this is also what got me into college because for my college essay, I wrote about lip tints. Yeah, because my question was, what's a quirk about you? And I was like, I own 38 lip tints. And I honestly don't know how much I had back then, but it was probably 38, but now I'm at like 70, so 